Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another video. Um, I think you'll have seen in the last one that I've done a fair bit of work to the car that I've not covered in videos. So um, I think I showed you inside the car and you got a little bit of a look and uh, where I'd fit the wiring loom. So I'm going to uh, take you a bit of a look around the car and a few bits and pieces and show you what I've been doing. So it uh, won't be a long video this one. I don't know if I'll be doing a lot of work. We'll see. I'm in the garage all day. So we'll see what I can come up with. But... Uh, I think I'll give you a bit of a look around and see what we've done. Right then, as you can see, inside the car, let me just shift that sheet out of the way. Uh, we've got the steering column fitted. Um, there's a new pinch bolt down there, but most of it's pretty scruffy looking. This dash pad's had a bit of a clean up, that needs to go in there, I've got some uh, spray glue in the car um, this is just rested in place, I've got to do a bit of cleaning up, but I'm not going to touch that, I'm going to wait until I can plug it all in and see what works and what doesn't work, and then I can hit it all in one uh, in one go as you can see I've been laying some silent coat on the, uh, on the floor uh, if we move into the back of the car, can't see a lot because there's a big blanket and a box of silent coat. Got a rear seat in. We've got uh, rear door cards and a silent coat on the side of there. So uh, that's uh, that's something that's a little bit moved on. And uh, one of the biggest changes is at the front of the car. You can see that wheel's just placed on. Got the front hubs, front hubs on. They're only these are only finger tight at the moment because I still need to get myself a socket big enough to fully torque up these ball joints. I also need to buy some lock nuts for the track rod ends because I've lost those, and I need to give the subframe a little bit more of a coat of paint because I've got some overspray and stuff on there. So yeah, there's still a little bit of work to do around the front end. I've got all this lot in. Um, same on the other side. Still got, as you can see in there, a broken stud to drill out. I don't know if you can see in there. Broken stud to get out there. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I've got the holes drilled up here for the brace bars for the front. That needs bolting on. Um, but yeah, I've got clutch, brand new clutch, uh, brake and clutch master cylinders. They're um, single line. Uh, now, I bought these plastic body ones because the original type metal body cylinders are like 70 quid each. These were like 40 or something, so I bought those. They are different ever so slightly because you can see how they have to fit with the two two bodies together. I think the cylinder's probably pretty much the same, although it's slightly different on the end, but they'll only fit one way together like that, so... There's a new gasket under there. I put a new gasket on for the steering column. You can't see it. It's down the back of the subframe where that meets. Um, so yeah, I've got top arms rebuilt with new, new. Uh, you can see new pins, new bearings in the top arm. I need the little bump stops to go under there. Uh, new bushes on the lower arm. Uh, recycled bolts. New bushes on the front arm. Obviously new track rod ends, but. I still need to get the uh, lock nut, which I haven't got. I must have uh, binned it rather foolishly. So, yeah, things are looking well for the car. I've got the front end built up. My good friend, Mr. Hart, gave me some high lows. So, I've got the front end in there with some cones, as you can see. Uh, but I appear to have lost my cones for the uh, rear of the car, which is annoying. Because if I knew where they were, I could fit the rear high lows and... Uh, put it on its wheels but I can't find the cones got a load of bits and pieces I've gathered up I have got one question this is my uh, steering linkage size of the nut that goes on there if anyone's got any idea would be beneficial because I've lost that but that's been all cleaned up and a bit of paint greased and whatnot. got my rear light units these are the ones that came on the car I thought for a while I needed a, uh, a new lens for one of them, but I've got enough lenses, three light units and enough lenses. So these I think are going to need a bit of a clean up and something doing with. Obviously some new gaskets, but 
yeah, that's, uh, that's not the end of the world. So yeah, things are progressing. Um, as far as the engine's concerned, I, I did paint knock <laughs> something over. I did paint most of it black. That's the cylinder head, um, and then my friend Paul. Right then, so yeah, me, mate Paul, bless him, gave me a tin of yellow paint, which is the original colour. Um, after seeing somebody else's uh, mini engine being painted yellow, I don't know if I'll uh, mention who's yet, in case they're not released a video. Um, I've decided that even though I've painted this black, I prefer red. No, I don't, I prefer yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, get myself some brushes this week and paint it yellow, I think. Uh, 998s are meant to be yellow, aren't they? Uh, a pluses, anyway. I've got a mini spares Evo camshaft to go in. Um, I've got in the car a full set of lifters. I've got an oil pump. I've put main bearings in. The big end bearings are fitted in the rods, ready to go. I've just got to get the right piston rings, and then I can put the engine together, I've got all the gaskets and stuff, the cylinder heads had all the valves lapped and cleaned, it's had new valve stem seals, um, and it's had a thorough, thorough clean as well. So yeah, the engine's uh, engines coming together, I've just, like I say, I've got a bit of, uh, just a bit of work to do, assembling bits and pieces together really. What am I waiting for? Because I'm waiting for those piston rings, things have kind of come to a halt, I need to buy a carpet, I need to buy a headlining, I need to buy seals um, and I've got an interior which you can't really see the back there, I'll uh, see if I can show you the front seats it's kind of awkward, it's just stuffed in this car for now but uh, that's the front seat I've got a full set of seats, front and back and door cards so I just need the carpet and the other trims and bits and pieces, and it's all good. I've also still got to weld the tops of uh, of these doors, both ends. The uh, skin's folded on, I've just not welded it. Because I still need to paint the doors, the boot lid and the front end, and work out what I'm doing with the bonnet, because time's running out. I really want a weekend where it's not raining, so I can get this pushed outside and uh, I can paint in sand and do all that sort of stuff in here so I really am struggling at the moment for um, work to do but I don't want to get stuck into I don't want to well I haven't finished putting the engine back together which is there I don't want to be making loads of dust and mess and stuff because the gearbox is down there sat open um, and I also don't want to cover the paintwork on the car in grinding sparks and welding all over it and stuff and dust. I did start to have a little go at doing some polishing, I don't know if you can see somewhere around here, perhaps if I go the other side the light might be better. You can see there's a, a patch where it looks considerably better than the rest of it, but yeah it's getting there. I'll wet sand and polish the whole car when it's assembled I think. It's, uh, yeah. So that's uh, about the progress at the moment. It'll be a short video to show you what's going on. I'll try and video more as I'm doing it, but as you know, I'm trying to get the car ready for IMM and time is running out. It's probably 60 something days now till IMM, 70 maybe. So I'm getting a bit of a panic on. I'm just coming in the garage and getting stuck in and getting work done on the car because setting up cameras and videoing and talking takes a fair bit longer so I hope you understand and I will post updates as soon as I uh, have them. I think I might start today by having a bit of a tidy up because as usual it's an absolute mess in here um, so yeah then when I've got some stuff to uh, to get on with I can just get on with it without worrying about there being a mess everywhere because when everything's in a mess you don't want to come in the garage do you? You just tend to <laughs> can't be bothered.
So, back again. I've been a little bit busy. Started painting the cylinder head there. Um, it's just resting on top of the gearbox because I'm running out of bench space. And I've been cleaning the gearbox up. The casing's come up quite nicely. See so around and each side. It's cleaned up quite well. I've cleaned the outside of this. So that's not looking too bad. I did have a tidy up, believe it or not. And I started putting a coat of paint on uh, the engine block. I think that looks marvellous. So, uh, yeah, just little bits and pieces. Cleaning up the gearbox and the head. I think I've done enough for today. Um, been quite busy with the old wire wheel and whatnot, so uh, that'll do. Thanks again.